Okay, guys. So, super exciting. Books going to be run right now. And my goal this session is to be able to help us, a lot of us that are totally new to the Forex market, how we can um, leverage on the tool and how we can harness the Forex market. Uh, this not just be for Forex trading alone, it's going to be for every, every, um, every instrument that you would like to trade. If you're really for the call, can you type in 777 on the chat box? Good to have you on the call. Somto, Temisa, Victory CJ, Victor CJ, um, Grace, Bola. Okay, if I don't mention your name, I just want to appreciate you for being on the call. Thank you for showing willingness to learn and the readiness. So leverage on this industry. Okay, guys, if you can hear me, let me be sure you... Let me be sure you guys can hear me. Okay, so what you do for me right now is to get a note. If you have a note, you have your pen beside you. Can you type in one, one? You have your note, you have your pen beside you. Can you type in one, one, one? You have your note, you have your pen beside you. Can you type in one, one, one? Okay, you have your note, you have your pen beside you. Type in one, 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 okay? Do that on the chat box right now. Let me be sure we are ready. Okay, cool. So now, what is Forex? Forex, like it is, is all about buying or selling in the Forex market. And I tell you, this has been on for over, over a very long, long time. And a lot of time, people do not understand the basics of it. And if, when you don't have a good foundation about a, an industry or about a business, you begin to have, um, along your journey, you begin to have issues with it because you have a very wrong foundation. Now, Forex, it started in the days of trade by barter. That means that for me to do anything with you, Grace, that I've not met you before, you need to give me 10 naira, then I give you what of the value. So let's say Grace sells water, and I have, um, and I have, um, I have cup. Grace cannot drink water without cup, because Grace need what cup, and I need water. All I need to do for Grace is to give offer Grace cup, and Grace offer me, offers me water. Now this does not have to do with money, but it has to do with value. So from the onset, Forex actually started from the days of trade by barter. And it has always been about that. So when I'm traveling to a country where they don't have my currency, I need to exchange my currency to that country currency. And every country currency has an exchange rate to another. So for Naira to go to US dollars, there is an exchange rate. For dollars to come to Naira, there is an exchange rate. So here is the challenge. Because people do not have this foundation, when they go into the business, they fail to build on it. And because this business has over $6.6 .6 trillion every single day, which is the Forex market, that means there is a $6.6 .6 trillion that is exchanging some set of people's hand. So every day when you wake up in the morning, there's a $6.6 .6 trillion on your desk. About two, three months ago, it was $5.3 trillion without your consent, without your involvement. So is, this is not based on you doing it or not. If you do it, the business is there. If you don't do it, the business is there. But in the words of Robert Kiyosaki, he says the wealthy people trade Forex. Go and learn to trade Forex. I, I was listening to his interview some um, about a week ago thereabout and was sharing with us how he has invested a lot of his money into gold. 
And I say to myself, why are people not doing what the wealthy people are doing? Now, here's the challenge. Some people don't have access to the information. Some people have access to the information. They are joke. They are not disciplined to take the right action. And some people are just taking it with levity. Now, at any point in time, if you are not if you're not overcoming these three level of issues, you will not see the value in Forex. Now, is it a quick fix? No, it is not a quick fix. Is it a scheme? No, it is not a scheme. Is it a scam? No, it is not a scam. Why is it not a scam? Guys, it is not a scam because here is where the banks multiply their money. So Henry or Dauphin puts in 1 million naira in the bank. Bola puts in 500,000 Naira in the bank. I put in one, one, uh, 100,000 Naira in the bank. Now, uh, there is a ratio that must be in the bank for people to come and be able to withdraw. They know that Henry will not come for a thousand, they will not collect one million Naira in one month. So they know that Henry withdrawal level is about 20% to 50%. So they will keep every fund to be 500,000 Naira in the bank. They know that the withdrawal level of Grace is hundred in his 500,000 is 200,000 in a month, which is not possible. You can bear me witness, a lot of us have some money in the bank for the past two months or one month or three months. You've not even withdrew half of the money. Why? Because such a lot of people have what is called savings mentality. And in what Sobio Kiyosaki, he said, for you to become wealthy, stop saving. You might not like the ideology I'm going to be sharing with you tonight, um, today, but the truth of the matter is that if you fail to do what the wealthy people are doing, you're not going to be wealthy. I took time to study the, the, the ideology of Warren Buffett, business ideology. I bought the book in New York. And I took time to study the book. I discovered that what made that man to be wealthy was not just about saving money. It was about in investment mindset. If you're on this call with me right now and you, you, you are hearing what I'm saying, can you type in investment on the chat box? Now, investment into a lot of thoughts that has helped him grow over time. Do you know in the 90, in the 1980s, that was when Warren Buffett invested into S&P. When S&P was, was still at the, at the lowest rate of $20, $50. Now, S&P grew as far as, as 500, to, 500 to about $1,000. Now, whatever he bought, that quality, quantity he bought, between that time and now, that is one of the things that makes that man one of the richest men in the world. Do you also know that the CEO of Coke currently does not earn more than 1.5 million every single month? Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, uh, about a million, uh, uh, about a million uh, either in a month. Yes, I think in a month. That's the owner of the CEO of, of Coke. But Warren Buffett as an investor does a profit sharing of about a million every single, every single week, at least even every single day from analysis. So that means something is wrong. Somebody is the CEO who is the owner, but the, the inv an investor who was able to invest into it, into the stocks of coal, has grown wild. So here is the challenge. People don't have the right foundation, and that is the basics of this training. I'm going to be walking with you through this for the next two to, two to seven days. You need to open your mind up and begin to position yourself to the place where the world people are putting their money. So because they know Henry will not withdraw that money, half of the money the banks have has been sent to the forex market. Half of the money of Bola has been sent to the forex market. Then they remain uh, 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 my own money, which is a hundred thousand. They know that uh, uh, Bola will come for 20,000 naira today. I will come for 10,000 naira to today. To, I will speak for about two, three days. Bola will speak for another about, about uh, three days to five days. Um, Henry will come for 50,000 naira and he will not finish spending it in one week. Now, by the time at the end of the month, everything three of us have spent is not even up to 100,000 naira. Why? Because every of them, we are, not, we are conscious of what we spend. 
And even if you spend lavishly, it is not everybody that does that. So 60% of money is sent to the Forex market. That is why when Henry goes to the bank and wants to collect his one million naira cash, a lot of the branches do not have that money. But don't forget that is the branch you went to deposit. But that same branch does not have your money. So they will call our other branches to bring the phone so that they can share, so that you, you will wait and they can get you mon your money. So what does that mean? It means that the money was not actually residing physically in that branch. Your money was not actually residing physically in any place. Your money was actually in the Forex market. If that makes sense, if that clarifies what you've been thinking, uh, what you've been um, um, having issues with, can you type in one on the chat box? So the banks plays in this industry. They multiply their money in this industry. And they know because you are not coming soon, they know that they are they, they play in the largest, in, in, in the largest, most liquid financial market. So they play, they trade there, and they make money. Our government, a lot of our government, this is where they put our money. Or the tax money. The, that's where they put it. Some of the government do not even pay salary long enough because the money is sent into the forex market. They don't pay salary long enough. They hold it for two months, three months, six months. And they return on it, they use it to do other things for the for themselves or even for, for, the for the government. Because of the chunk and the fund, the level of the fund. So you see some government, they hold one month, they hold two months, not intentionally, but you can say that they are bad, but that is where they feel they can grow the money. So they play, they fix it there, and once two naira, five naira, or any amount of money grows in that level of multiplication, they close the transaction and they pay off the salaries. Now we have the hedge fund traders too. Who are the hedge fund traders? These are the legalized people that should trade for you. A lot of people have been a victim of giving money to the wrong set of people. They say, oh, the person told me he can trade. The person told me he's a professional. The person told me he's a good and so he's doing well as trading. But guys, that is not, that person is not a licensed hedge fund trader. I'm not, I don't trade for people today. Why? Because I'm not a certified hedge fund trader. Now, for you to be an hedge fund trader, you need to go for the training. You need to work on, you need to learn risk management. You need to go for courses that will certify you as one. And when you are one, the banks even come after you. And that's a long thing. And we have another in the set of people who we are retailers. This is us. I have a $100 in my wallet. What can I do with it? And I trade. So the, the, the forex market, the, the, the crypto market, the, the commodity market, the indices market, the binary option trading, all of these are available, but the big the beginning of some all of these are to learn. If on this call right now, can you type in learning? Now we've established what is forex, which is buying or selling of currencies, it has digital currency. Of fiat currency. We've established those who plays in this industry. And the next thing you're going to be learning right now is what and what do I need to do? What happens in the, in the Forex market? What are the currencies that happen in the Forex market? Number one, we have the major currencies. And for you to trade a currency, there must be, you must pair two currencies together. For you to trade a currency, you must pair two currencies together. What does that mean? It means for me and you to trade, we must be able to identify two or more currencies together. What are the currencies? We have the USD. We have the Euro. You have the Japanese yen. You have the British. Brit, uh, 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 we have the British. Uh, the British pound. We have the Swiss francs. We have the Canadian dollar. We have the Australian dollar. All of this. We have the New Zealand dollar. So these are the uh, uh, currencies that you can tr trade with. So the New Zealand dollar is NZD. The a Australian dollar is AUD, okay? So I'm, I'm going through that again. The, N U um, the, the, the New Zealand dollar is NZD. The Australian dollar is AUD. Canadian dollar is CAD. So the Swiss France is CHF. The British 
pound is GBP. The, uh, the, the, the United States dollar is USD, and you have the euro, which is EUR. Now, these are individual currencies that should be paired together for you to place a trade. So for you to place a trade, you will have to cross two pairs together. And I told you earlier that for people in, 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 in UK to go to, uh, to, go to, to United States, they need to convert their pounds into uh, dollar. For the people in United States to trade, uh, to come to, um, um, to UK, they need to change their US dollars to pounds. So that means every country currency has a rate. So I'm going to go straight to my screen right now. And I'm going to go to GBP USD. Good. As it is today, the current pair that the current market price of GBP USD. So we are crossing GBP, US, GBP, which is pounds. We are crossing it with United States dollar, which is USD. The rate for you to change one currency of GBP to USD is 1.2600 of dollar. So what does that mean? You need to also know that the GBP pairs So any of the leading pair is called the court. Any of the leading pair is called the court. And the one by the left One minute, team. So guys, so the GBP, I'm back guys, I'm back. I'm just replying so. Okay, so we have the coat and we have the, the beat, the base. What that tells us that the right currency is the base Here is the base, and here is the code. So whatever the first currency is on the left-hand side, the other one, which is on the right-hand side, is the code. So that means here is the host. Here is the negotiation currency. So this is code. So whenever I am putting money, I am buying, when I click buy, When I click buy, I am what? I am buying and putting money in the base.
Okay? Don't worry, I'm meant to use the layout, but we're fine here. And whenever I'm putting money in the coat, then I'm selling. Okay, that means whenever I am putting money in GBP pairs, I am to buy. And whenever I'm putting money into USD against GBP, I am to sell. So let's do a quick, a quick narration now. So when I say, Buy. When I say GBP USD, buy at 1.2655. Let me do that good quick example. Oh my goodness. Guys, where am I putting money? What currency am I putting money now? Guys, answer me. Amazing. Good. That means I'm putting money in GBP. Good. So when I put a currency, when I put in sell, where am I putting money, guys? I'm putting money where, guys? I'm putting my investment in USD. Good. So when... When Donald Trump says, um, put out an information and it weakens USD. It weakens USD. What are you to come do here? Since USD is weak, where are you to put in money, guys? We are, we are discussing about GBP USD and Donald Trump just released a news and the news weakened USD. Which investment should you put in your money? EFE. EFE. The United States president said a news and released a news and the news weakened USD currency. When a currency is weakening, are you to put in your money there? No. You have to put your money against the currency that has strength. So you put your money in the other currency that will be able, that will be able to make you make profit. So some days ago, the, the, the prime minister was um, there was a news that the guy um, contacted the um, coronavirus. Now, while you are reading the news, somebody will come to the chat and say, since the prime minister has coronavirus, it will have an effect on, on the currency. Or when they said the husband of the queen of England had coronavirus and you have to stay in isolation. What, what does that tell you with that information? Let's work together. That means GBP will be strong or weak, everybody. What will happen to GBP at that point? Weak, good. So now that GBP is weak and you are trading GBP USD, where will you put your money? Duni, where will you put your money? You buy USD, good. Now, when you come to USD, are you going to be buying or you're going to be selling? When it comes to GBP USD, are you going to be buying GBP USD or you're going to be selling GBP USD? Amazing, I have a great student here. No, if you're going to be selling US, GBP USD. Why? Because GBP is weak, you're going to be putting money into USD, and that means you're selling. So I'll recap. Whenever you're putting money into GBP, you are buying against GBP USD. Whenever you are putting your money in USD, you are selling against GBP USD. So this allows a lot of people to connect and profit. However, there are other ways you can use 
to also know what is happening in the market. And this has, this has to do with your trading strategy. So we have about six trading strategies, six types of trading strategy. We have the scalping strategy. We have the edge fund trading strategy. We have the intraday strategy. We have all of these strategies. But guys, the bottom line of each strategy has to do with conditions. The bottom line of each of these strategy has to do with conditions. Now, let's go to the next part. Since you already understand the place of currencies, <clears throat> the next thing you need to understand is that you need to know whenever you invest money, the thing of investment is protect your capital. The first rule of investment is protect your capital. So I don't want to begin to put in my money into an investment that will not work. I don't want to put in my money into an investment that will not give me what I want. So what do you do? What do you do? At the point where you understand that you are buying and you're selling, you need to also put in concrete sense that there are forms of orders, okay? There are other types in the Forex market. There are other types in stock trading. There are other stock, other, other types in binary options, okay? So, but when it comes to the Forex market, there are other types. So what are other types? There are two classifications. Is it that you are buying or you are selling? So we are buying or we are selling. However, under buying, you have what is called buy stop and buy limit. Buy stop and buy limit. Buy stop, or you type that in, on the chat box right now. Buy stop, buy limit. Good, good. So we also have what is called sell stop, sell limit. What that does for you and I is it allows us to be able to play I want to show you some. I want to show you the images that we explain the buy stop and a buy limit for us. Oh my God, I do that now. Come on, guys. If you are gaining some value, can you type in one one? if you're really gaining some value here today. Okay, cool. So here is it. I want to be able I'm coming, guys. I'm, I'm loading my...
Amazing, 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 amazing. Oh my goodness, did I do that now? Okay, so all I need to do is to understand my other types. Now, what do I want to do with my other types is to be able to place the traits. Now, how does this really, really work? Okay, now it means that for me to trade in the forex market, I need what is called, I need a broker. A broker is the one that gives you a, a platform to trade. And the general platform which is available for trading is MetaTrader 4. Okay? So on MetaTrader 4, you have several options. And these as you, you access to trade. So when I found my, my account, with $200, with $500, this, all I need to do is put this money into my trading account and I can start trading with it. Now, there are what is called orders that you need to give to your broker before the trades will be executed. And we have what is called market execution, execution and pending order okay market execution is the same thing as instant execution okay so market execution is the same thing as instant execution. When it comes to market execution, that means I am entering the market in what is called current market price. Market price. At every point in time, the market has a value. So as I talk to you on the screen right now, look up. What is the current market price for what is the current market price for this um, um, this pair now GBP USD? What's the current market price? One point twenty two. 612 fantastic so the current market price is the market price as at when you are going in 
So when I say Duni, enter the market, enter GBP USD at buy at the current market price. It means Duni is entering this market at the current market price. Okay? So on the market execution, okay, and instant execution, we have what is called buy by market. Buy by market. or sell by market. So whenever you are pressing any of this, you are entering the market at the market current price. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to also know, which is under your order type, is your pending orders. Now, the pending order now means I am giving an instruction to my broker. Don't enter at the current market price enter at this price. So whenever you are given a pending order, you are requir required to give an, an, uh, an you are required to give an instruction with a price. So whenever I called my broker, hello, I, uh, today, you know, before now we use, execution has to do on call, on phone, on, um, or, or you reaching out to your account officer before the, the days of MT4, okay? People go to bank to place trades, okay? Good. So, or you call your broker, you know, uh, your stock broker. When this, with this, um, when these shares come to this value, that is when you should put your put my money there. Don't call me. Just enter that trade whenever it gets there. So that is a pending order. So whenever there is a pending order, there will be a rate that you want to go in. If what I've said is clear, type in two. That whenever you are given a pending order, you are required. Type in two, guys. Amazing. So I want to buy Euro US, uh, GP USD, and I'm giving an instruction to my broker. For me to give an instruction to my pro broker, guys, I have uh, uh, um, two different classification under buy. So I have buy limits, and I have buy stop. I have sell limits and I have sell stop. Sell stop. If you got that, come on, type in four. Good. Now, what are we talking about? The first one is buy stop. Buy stop is an order that is placed above price and price keeps going up. Buy stop is a price given that is above the current market price. So I'm going to remove all this right now. I'm going to do this together. Since we all know that this is the current market price, for me to give a buy stop, it must be above the current market price. It must be above it. So what does that mean? It means... I am selling my broker. I don't want to enter at current market price, but I know that this currency is going up. Then I will give my broker 1.2345. So what does that mean? Don't enter for me now, but put a pending order that is above the current market price. So whenever the market chooses to start going up, it will pick me. That is what is called buy stop. Buy stop is an order that is placed above the current market price and the price keeps going up. Buy stop. If that makes some sense. Type two. If not clear, type one. Okay. It makes sense. Type in two. If not clear, type one.
Ahmed, I think you are just joined, so it might not be clear. You might have to stay, you might have to watch the replay of this video. I know you're just joining, so you just join in. It won't be clear. You have to start from the beginning. Okay, that's fine. You're surprised I know you are just coming. Because your name starts with A, and I know the person that was in the class when it was when we started with A. <laughs> Okay, it's all right. So, but what I'm saying is that Ahmed, what is the current market price now, Ahmed? Let's do this together. What's the current market price, Ahmed? Type it in on the chat box. What is the rate between GBP USD, between GBP and USD? What's the rate? What's the exchange rate? Ahmed, I'm waiting. Okay, 1.2264, 666. Okay, so let's, let's do that. So since it is 1.2264, Ahmed, this is the current market price. Magno, thank you for just joining, okay? You get access to the recording. Madam Duni. But you send in the recording after. So the map, the current market price is only used for market execution. Follow me gently, Ahmed Alimi. What do I want to do? I'm giving an instruction to my broker. Do not go in at this rate. I want you to go in at a rate that is more than 1.2266 or 64. What does that mean? I'm giving an instruction to my broker. I want you to go in here. Now, Alimi, the price that I just drew, is it higher than the current market price? Yes or no? The line I just drew above, is it higher than the current market price that you gave me before? Good. Now that the price that I've given is higher than the current market price, this is when you are to use buy stop. So buy stop is an order, is a price order that is given when the price is above the current market price and you are still expecting the price to go up. So because I know that the price is still coming here, I'm, I don't want to enter at this place. So I say, oh, my broker, enter for me here so that the market will pick me along the road and it will come and pick me here. It gets to the take profit. Ahmed Alimi, is this clear now? So by order, Buy stop is a price order given to the platform when the price is above the current market price. Now, I can I can see your response again. It's because we are beating that part. Now, the next part is called buy stop. So buy, st uh, buy limit. The buy stop is for it to go up and pick you while it's going up, okay? So now, the buy limit, good. Glad you got it now. The buy limit is I have an information that the price will come down before going up. So this is my target. This is the current market price. So we are expecting the market to first come down before going up. 
So it is an order, okay, placed below the price, the current market price, and then the price goes up. Note the words. It is an order placed below the current market price and price then goes up. It is an order placed below. This is the current market price. It is placed below the current market price and the price goes up. A particular company shares goes for 10 naira. And you have an information that that price is, is good. That price is, that price will get to 20 naira. And an informant tell, tell you, don't worry, the bank, the shareholders will drop the price to five naira before going to 20 naira. So instead of you calling your stockbroker and say, enter at 10 naira for me, you tell the broker and say, don't worry, whenever it gets to five, buy for me. So that means you are giving an instruction that you should enter the price the lower part of at uh, the low price of the price before it goes higher i'm sure that that makes a lot of sense so buy limit so for example the trade i gave to the community on on um on monday oh sorry on friday is it friday was it friday this was it we gave out Okay, we knew from our strategy that the price was going to come down and go up. So what we do we do? This was where the price was. And in the morning, we gave out the entry price to be here. So what eventually happened the market came back, picked us here, and did what? And start going up. Is this a buy stop or a buy limit? Since we know the market is going up. So are you using a buy or a buy limit? Which one are you to use? Joel said buy limit. I already have buy limit. Somebody else says buy stop. Good. So what you are to use is buy limit because the current price when you came to the market is 107.44. So this rate, when it came down, we gave it on the group that our stop loss is 15 pips. So we risk 15 pips to make 160 pips. That is about 10 times profit. Let me see if. So you can see, buy limit, enter at 107.05. So we did not say buy by market. We said put entry at 1.705. Good. And let your T15 pips, let your T profit be 102. So what happened? The market came down to come and obey us. And as it obey us, it picked us there and went, gave us TP1, gave us TP2. And now I'm still holding it because I'm a swing trader. I hold it for two weeks, three weeks, even some months, as the case may be. So I'm still in it, but I have protect profit, which I'm still going to tell us in, in, in the other sections. So when you understand how this works, you will be jumping in, in the market. You ask yourself, does this market have the capacity to go down some more before I buy? Or is just going to start going up? 
So uh, do we understand the work of buy limit and sell limit now? If you do, let everybody on this call type in yes. All of you, I want you to type yes. Let me know you are all following me. One, I want all the numbers here to type in yes. If you're not typing in yes, I'm going to remove you now. If you're not typing in yes, six, seven, eight, need minimum 20. Nine, I'm wanting it. If you're not there, uh, that means you are, maybe you are distracted. Okay. Ten minimum. Let me see the person that will make a go. That's fine. Amazing, guys. So now, can we go to the other one, which is sell limit and sell stop? Now, how does sell limit works? Limit works. So how does sell limit works? Sell limit works in such a way that it will allow you and I to go into the market whenever the market is dropping low. Now, what is the essence of sell? The essence of sell is that the market is coming down. The essence of buy is that the market is going up. I'll come again. When the market is coming down, you are to sell. When the market is going up, you are to buy. Because the market is going up, we use buy limit. Because the market is coming down, we use sell. So the question is, which of the sales orders are we using? Are we using sell limit or we are using sell stop? Now, let's go to another amazing pair we add on, um, on, um, on Thursday trading room. We had Euro GBP. A lot of us made money from that pair on Thursday. Okay. Good. Good. So on Thursday, we made money with this pair. This is the Thursday. We sold after the break. We sold after the break of this zone. So as the market broke, we sold here and we made 30 to 40 pips on Thursday. Okay. Now, why? The current market price is here. Everybody on the call, can you type in the current market price? Let's say today is talking now. Type in the current market price. Where the red line is. Type that in right now. The red line. Good. So the current price, that means you and I, that is where we are seeing. So for you to enter this rate now, you will do what is called sell under market execution. You do what's called sell by market. That means selling at this rate. You are selling at this rate. And if you sell at this rate, that means you are expecting the market to drop. Good. Now, 
when you now want to use sell stop, it means you the market is coming down. So you are placing an order that is below the current market price when the market is going down. Let's come back to our report. Sell stop. You, it is an order placed below the current market price when market is going down. So because we know the market is going down and we want to move in so that it can pick us as long as it's going down, then you will use what is called sell stop. I'll come again. The market is here. You know the market is coming down here. You can either go in at sell by market or you choose to say, since I know the market is going down, I will place a sell stop, which is the price that is below the current market price. So this is a price. So this is a price that is below the current market price. And that will be a sell stop. So whenever you see a sell stop, it means the market is going down, but you are entering on instant execution. You are giving a pending order. So as you put pending order here, the next few hours, the market came down and broke it and hit you and start going down. That is what is called sell stop. Now, sell limit is, you know that price is going down, but you will put a pending order, which is a sell order, above the entry price, which is my way of trading, okay? My way of trading, I don't use instant execution a lot of time. See, I do pending orders, okay? This is, these are trades ready for this new week now. At four, five, three, ready for new week. You can see this is the pending order. You can see there are buy limits, buy limits. So pending order. You don't want to. I like it when it's pending order, but you can't start using pending order until you have gained experience. Don't forget that the person in front of you has over three years of experience actively trading. Okay, okay. And um, altogether, I started trading. I got to know forex two thousand and nine. So. That's over 10 years, if I'm right. Yeah, over 10 years. So, so you want to understand what we're talking about. But what I'm sharing with you is that don't use my own way of trading, but you need to start somewhere. Start somewhere. You know, I'm going to be helping us at the end of this meeting how you can connect and grow and the things you really need, okay? I want to establish the simplest part of trading. And this will not change for the next 100 years. So as you know this today now, I've known it forever. You don't need to go and say what is pending or die again. You've known it. And that is the concept of our forex. The same way when it comes to strategy. Once you know one strategy, know it and don't change it. But, you know, a lot of traders, they just, today they are here, tomorrow they are this, tomorrow they are, you know, they say there's another one, ah, you know, but the purpose of, my, my, my training is to create a culture, which if, if you've been following me on YouTube, you've been seeing Forex trading culture, which is my focus about strategy. There are a lot of people that teach strategy. So I don't want to teach strategy because strategy is everywhere and every strategy works. But there's a culture that makes people succeed when it comes to um, um, financial trading investment. And that is my purpose. How many of you are excited about that? Type in 444, guys. Excited about your link? Type in four four four. Type in four four four. Amazing, amazing. So for me, I do more pending orders. It allows me to be able to enjoy, and I'm not afraid. I'm I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. So when you really enjoy trading, you want to work with pending orders, and few times you can. But you no, know, don't do it my way. You know, if you have watched my video on YouTube, I said 
you the first way to the first thing to do to become successful in forex is know who you are identify who you are okay that is when you can answer all these simple questions i'm saying so depending all that which has to do with sell limit means that the market will retrace back up okay when it retraces back up then look for sell so when it retraces back up i know it's still coming down then i sell for this move so that is what is called sell limit okay I would sell, sell them, and that is what sell stop. If buy stop and if sell stop and sell limit is clear, are you typing two on the chat box? If it is clear, type in two. So we've been able to establish what is forex. We've been able to establish the currency pairs in Forex, reason why you have to trade Forex, those who plays in the Forex market, we able to establish a lot of stuff. Now that you know how to place a trade, guys, the next thing you want to master, which is where you're going to be dwelling more, is what? Risk management, guys. You must be able to risk, and that is why Forex is one of the biggest and the most sweet, um, sustainable business you can do. Except you break the rules. And that is why a lot of people quit Forex. They quit Forex because they do not have the right mentorship. They do not have the right... Some people have the right mentorship. The challenge now is that they do not follow the instructions. And that is why when you come to our community, we emphasize every time. It, we don't want quick fits. This week alone, we did uh, trading... Um, in our, um, what's it called? In our challenge this week, in our trading room, did over 45, 44% of our account this week. So for you to do 44% of your account, you must follow strictly instruction. Now, does that mean we're going to do it next week the same way? No, it's, it's not a guarantee, but that is what we're able to pick out of the Forex market. But when you come in every day and you are seeing it the way we do it in the community every single day, you begin to also understand it. Because for you to master a behavior, to become an habit, you need 21 days. So actively, if you can be involved for minimum 20 days to 60 days, doing the same thing again and again and again and again, except you are lazy, except you are naturally not giving it the right time, then I can tell you, you will do well. But if you do the same thing over and over again, you become consistent at it, then I can tell you that you are good, good and good and good to go. So here in this yeah, I want to share with us risk management. Now, the next one, which is so paramount, once you understand all of this, is called stop loss. You see, I've seen a lot of traders. I've seen a lot of traders who say they trade without stop loss. I'm not in school of knowledge. Stop loss allows you First, what is even forex? First, it is a transaction eh, where you win and you lose. First, understand that it is a business where you lose and where you win. So, when you lose, what's you is your stop loss. And see, don't make forex magical. Eh? Everybody on this course you do about from Forex. Type in what you do. Don't tell me you are doing Forex full time. I've told uh, a lot of our students, you don't do Forex full time. Engage with other things. If not, you just be you just be sitting full time on laptop. And the things you don't see, you start doing it. It's, it's like this is a buy. It's like this is a sell. No, I don't sit, I don't sit aggressively on laptop. Type in what you do apart from Forex. Let's go every time. Forex. Type in what you do. Real estate. Farming. Insurance. Uh huh. Good. Trading. Amazing. Good. Student. Logistics. Good. Good. Now, let me sincere. In every business, in all this business you're doing, let me go to uh, Mr. Ma Mr. Madu. Which of the farming do you do? Is it crop or um, poultry? Which of the farm? Crop, okay. Now, Mr. Madu, between you and I, 
do you do you harvest all your crops? Do you harvest all your seeds? Do you harvest all? No, good. Now, when you don't harvest all, the ones you don't harvest, that means they're bad ones, yes or no? Good. Now, when they are bad ones, does that make you say that farming is not good? Good. Now, thank you. So, because that does not tell you that farming is good. So what makes you know that farming is good? You harvest more than the loss. Yes or no, sir? Good. So the same way in Forex, the goal here is how can I harvest more than my losses? See, guys, I've seen a lot of businesses, but I've not seen any business that can pay you. Hmm? Hmm? that can pay you as much return like Forex. I've never seen it. An average investment in farming, we give you like 25%, uh, like 25% in six months or 25% in one year. Mr. Madu, am I right? Investment now, not that you are the one, you know, you do it yourself, you could make more. Yes. Good. Investment. Is it 25% in a year or 25% in six months? Or 15%? I see a lot of a lot of them approaching me for transactions. Twenty-five percent in a year. Fantastic. So 25% in a year. And in the forex market last week, we did four percent in a week. One more, just in two days, we did forty-four percent. And if we do four percent minimum, what five business we do in one year? What a real estate business? I have some really Mr. Henry, real estate advisor. Is it does a lot in let's say space why do you now run away from forex because we don't want to invest into knowledge a lot of run away because we are stingy investing to ourselves a lot of us run away a farmer who is not ready to buy water every day to water is what will happen mr madu A farmer who is not ready to check on his crop every day, three days. What will happen to the crop? A farmer, like a forager, is not putting plus to it and is long plan about it. Only me does not mind what he loses. And the rule of forex is protect your capital. Protect your capital. Somebody you say die. <laughs> die. So when it comes to the forex, okay, because there is more profit, there is a higher level of discipline. Do you know why wealth is not free for every why not common? The only reason why wealth is not common is that those who become wealthy are those who are. If you get what I'm saying, type in I hear, guys. That is why it's not. That is why some people will suffer, suffer, suffer. Not that they don't know what to do, but they are not disciplined enough to stick to the rule. So today they are here, tomorrow they are there, next tomorrow they are not that thing. They are not this enough to be consistent. They are not disciplined enough, and that is why some people are wealthy and people are still suffering. Aha! Uh -huh. Stop loss allows you to protect 
you from the unusual that could happen in the forex market. So I place a trade and I am buying. So when I'm buying, I need to protect stop loss. I need to protect in case the trade starts going the other way around. Okay, so now this helps you now. The stop loss guys from losing our capital. A lot of traders have quit forex today because they don't use stop loss. They want to come in and make the money quick. They want to come in and sort. Some say, "Ah, my appetite is high." What is having to do with culture? My risk appetite is high. When your risk appetite is high, it's, it's not good. No, 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 guys. Not every day you just come in and do the risk anyhow. So your stop loss is the price when you are to go out of the market when the market is against you. Write that down. Stop is the price. Is your exit price when the market is going to you. Is your exit price when the market is going Now, the next one is called take profit. Take profit. Is exit price when you are in what in front okay exit price is the trade is the loss the stop loss take profit is the exit price when you are in profit if you got that too so when i when I am seen here and my take profit is here, my stop loss will be above. So when I play in sell and the market come up, everybody watch what I'm doing. Did it get to the red line? It didn't get to the red line, everybody. The top red line. When you are selling, your top loss is above your price and your tape profit is below. Now, the market turned back and started coming and came down to hit you on the other part, which is your take profit. Now, this is your profit. This is your stop loss. This is the sell entry. Likewise, when you are buying, So likewise, when you are buying, D, your stop loss will be below the price and your take profit will be above. So when you enter everybody on the call, plus hit entry, did the price hit your entry? Um, did the price hit your stop loss, everybody? The price is your stop loss, but back up. Did he take profit? Everybody, good. Take profit is above the price you buy, and your stop loss is below. Now, on your phone, 
your profit is on your own. So on your phone, guys. I need to off this. So on your phone, MT4. On your phone, when you are given a pair, all you need to do is to come to this. So let me remove, let's say I don't have USD JPY, let me remove it. Let me say I don't have US, Euro, USD. Any pair you don't have, your M4, you must have downloaded your MT4 on your So you go to your Play Store, you will download it. So any pair that you don't have, you click on the plus that the extreme right. You click on the plus that is on the extreme right. Okay. Then you click on Forex. So you see, all these currency are available for you to. The currency I need is USD JPY and uh, sorry, Euro USD, and this is Euro USD. All I need to do to bring it out is to click on the plus. Now that I've clicked on plus, I'll click on OK. Once I click on OK, you will see that Euro USD that was not here before, before will be back. Can everybody see Euro USD now? So any currency you don't have and you want to trade, you just come to click plus. You look for the folder where it is. A lot of time it will be on Forex. Look for the currency and you click on plus. That is how to add currency outside. Okay. Now, now that I'm here, next thing is, I want to place a trade. I'll click Euro USD. And once I click on Euro USD, my phone is iPhone, so you might have different, um, might have one or two differences compared to Android. I click on trade. What is the market for the top? Telling us Euro USD. Next one, the market is telling us is market execution. And after you, whenever it is market execution, the market will not ask for a price. That means you are entering at the max price. Do you all agree with me? Is that in alignment with what I've shared with you earlier? Because it's market execution, you are trading at the current market price, old mid of team price. Does that make sense? Good. You guys, uh, is in alignment. Typing one is the same thing I've been saying since. Good. So, whenever I'm given stop loss, I will type in my stop loss here. 
or I copy and paste it. Then detect it, I will type it here. Okay? Then I am entering on either buy by market or sell by market. Now, if it is pending order, you will change on Android, the red line is your stop loss on Android phone. The red line is your stop loss. Green is your take profit. If that is clear, type in four. The red line is your stop loss. Open your MT4 now on your phone. Let's do it together. Because this week we're going to be making money. Okay? Four. Good. Good. So the red line is where you have the line is your stop loss. Where you have the green line is where you will type your take profit. Then you see below your phone, sell market or buy by market. But whenever you click on the market execution, it will tell you, are you using pending order? You can see buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. So whenever you change to any of these four, a price will appear. You can see that a price has appeared. So that is where you will put in any pending order. Now, something that is so paramount, which I need to go in next, is what is called lot size. Here is your lot size. And I'm going to start with now, which is risk management. So apart from stop loss, we have what is called hold. Oh, before I go into lot size, let me round up that part first. Come on, guys, show some love if you are learning some value, guys. Show some love if you're learning. Good. So, apart from the profit, there's also what we call break even. Break even is whenever I profit. Move stop loss value to entry price. Okay. What it means is this is my screen. I bought here and the market. Currently here, and I don't learn anything from this trade. Don't forget, this will be my loss. Break means that I will move this value on the red a stop loss value. We do new earlier. The red line you will come down. You will enter the entry price volume. This is your entry price is zero point seven three one three. Then I'll click on modify. I'll just I'll click on my trade. Don't forget, you can only keep it when you're in profit. And how do you it's hold down the trade and you click on modify? You will open a trade and you will click on modify. Still not clear. I have a breakdown video on the link on soup. We posted the link uh, on this link how to place it, how to close, how to modify. But this I want to show you practically right now. You move stop loss value, you will enter it on your break even value. So now your entry price is equal to your stop loss. So what is that? If this market is coming against you. You will not lose any trade. That is what is called making. Not making profit. 
are not making loss. That is what is called breaking. That is what is called break even. So break even is that I'm in profit, but I don't want to lose. I now move my plus to break even. Good, that's break even. Now, the other one we have is called stop profit. Stop profit is another level of break. But this time out, instead of you put it on the entry price, you put it above it. So now, if it was break even, it will eat you out and not make anything. But if it is profit now, you, you have locked 20, you have locked five pips between your stop loss and your entry price. Let's go to five minutes. Oh, it won't, I won't fly. So it will be between stops and your. So the stop it will allow you that whenever you are off, move to uh, ten piece ab uh, um, or um. Move stop us. Move stop us. Ten pips of your price of your entry price. That is that name. So I'm in profit of hundred pips, and I don't want all my hundred pips to go. I move it to fifty pips, which is middle. So what means is now look at this trade that I told you about we pick on Thursday in one of my accounts. Look at where we enter the trade. Move 160 pips. What did I do on Friday? I don't want 160 pips to come and turn to negative again. I move, I move into this place. So this is my thought. What it means is that if this market comes down against me, I will still keep profit of what? Of 60 pips. A lot of us, we have 30 pips profit. You have seen 100 pips profit. You're not saying it will, it will keep going. No, you not type in protect. You protect profit. You protect profits. The play of the videos will be sent to the groups. How to protect profit? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars times four hundred twenty. That's eight thousand. And yourself, eight thousand naira. This one that everybody is at home, thousand something. You move your plus um, to stop profit. That is the day of stop profit or break. Very important, guys. Very important. Then the next one is called partial close. Partial close is done when you hold the 0 0.01 lot size. To enter a trade with 0.02, can partial close. So when I'm in profit of dollars and I partial close 0.02, when I do that, that means I'm closing the 01 at that rate with dollars. So you can close. Okay. There's a video of partial close on the description box, so you can watch that on what is called partial close. So the last but not least, I'm going to be rounding up today is lot size size we are what is like crow lots we have what is called mid lots and you have what's called
micro, mini, standard, standard lot. Lot size is zero point zero one. Mini lot size zero 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 point one. Standard lot size is one point zero. Standard point zero. Now. The old knowledge is whenever you have hundred dollars, zero one. When I have three hundred dollars, use zero point zero one. It's just we want you to be lazy. So the general knowledge, I will teach you general knowledge, and I'll teach you professional knowledge. Which one you pick? The one that suits you. Okay. When you have between on when you have three hundred dollars below. Zero point zero one. You have between three hundred between eight okay, between. I intentionally, because I don't use it again, I've deleted it from my head. But a lot of people will say $100, use 0 0.01, okay? And have three positions run. Don't have more than three positions run. as the general knowledge. Okay? So at 500, you use 0 0.05, three positions. Only, not three positions of the same transaction, three trades of different currency pair, but don't have more than three positions. If you have one one thousand, zero point zero one for one thousand. So if you have five hundred, if you have one thousand zero point one, if you have two thousand zero point two, you have any but don't have more than three positions running. Don't have more than three trades running. Okay. Standard lot is ten thousand. And if you have ten thousand, you use one lot size. Okay. And don't have more than three trades running. See, if you follow all these rules, you will not blow your account. So I have people say they, they, they come in with $100 and they want to turn it to $1,000 in one month. You are deceiving yourself. One, you've not even experienced trading. You've not even experienced trading. You've not demo traded. You have not all these YouTube videos. Some of you used to go and watch. God is watching you. You don't know how long the person, how much the person have lost before he came online and show you what he's making. And you, you won't just want to come up and say the person did hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars. I can do it. You now go enter too many positions, it will blow your account. And you now say forex is not working. So this is where you really need to really, really be intentional about it. To come in and you are new. You want to, you don't want, you want to do it the lazy way. This is the lazy way. Okay. Lazy way is, I don't want to calculate. They say buy, I use 0 0.01 and I'm only in any three trade, GBP, USD, Euro, USD, and the UD card. That's the three. If they give me the number four, you don't enter it. 
AI. It allows you to not lose your account. 8% of people that lose their account, they don't lose it to, to wrong trade. They lose it to over trading. They lose it to wrong lot sites. They lose it to over trading and they lose it to wrong lot sites. But if you can overcome over trading, and wrong blood sizes, you will not lose your account. Okay. Good. Um, but professionally, what you are actually to use is you use your lots, your stop loss calculates. So if your stop loss is 25 pips, for example, you come to the calculator, which I'm going to also post the link on, on the Facebook. This is it. So if I have $100, on this $100, I only want to respect. And I'm trading Euro USD. So, and I'm my stop loss, I'll put my stop loss to 25 pips. So, what is it telling me? You can only risk 0 0.008. That means if anything is wrong with this account, I can only lose $2. As you are new to Forex, between one to two percent. When your confidence level begins to grow, you can go to three. But don't ever, even if your is next week, don't even if you have views that will kill you or views that because the see, let me tell you something. When you don't build your account on sustainable process, you will lose it, and the money you are looking for too, you will not get it. You want to make one thousand dollars in two days. You put in two hundred dollars to over leverage. Put one thousand you did not get. But the two hundred that you put, you've lost that one. So who who is helping you? Who? But you put in hundred dollars and you put in two percent and you put twenty five pips. You know, okay, this is zero point zero eight, zero point zero zero eight. This is not available. So because it is eight, I can now approximate it and say zero point zero one. Or better still, I increase my capital. That's why I tell people, don't start with $100. Start with minimum bread. Look at, so that you can have something visible. Look at this now. Nice. Use 0 0.01, this transaction. And even if it is 40 pips, you can still have 0 0.01. Can you see that? So that is different. That means that no matter what I am risking, for me to lose this $200, I need to trade a lot of trades, like 100 trades before I will lose this account. I will take 100 trades before I lose this account. Are you getting the concept now? I will lose 100. I will take 100 trades. One, loss. Second, third, loss. Five. And we will take 100 trades. Uh, uh. It's going to be very rare.
So we will be able to risk it. So a lot of time, look at what happened on, um, <clears throat> on Friday. You know, USD JPY, or on Thursday rather, we gave USD JPY 15 pip stop loss on Friday. And because you are using $200, he says you should use 0 0.02, which is approximately 0 0.03. Now, 0 0.02, the trade gave us over 150 pips. So 0 0.02, 20 cents, that's 20 cents times 150 pips. You have done $30 on $200. And you risk how much, guys? You risk $4. You have risked $4 to make $30. Good business or bad business, guys? Is that a good business or a bad business? Everybody. So here is the missing link. When you are not using the right lot size management, you're going to be missing out. But if this trade had gone against you and I, we would have only lost $4. But it, it went in our favor, we've made $30. So an average person that picked that trade had done like 7% of their risk. But when you are saying it's 0 0.01 you are using for this, you will not be able to calculate your milestone and your, your debt on from there. So what is the PIP value? We didn't put that one here. The PIP value for 0 0.01 is 10 cents. The P value for 0 0.1 is $1. $1. The P value the P value for 1.0 is $10. So what does that mean? I enter with 0 0.02. 0 0.02, everybody on the call, what would be the peak value? What would be the P value? Not 20 percent, it's 20 cents. Good. So I will now say 20 cents. Good. So 20 cents, one dollar is one dollar. 20 cents is tw this. That is 0.20. So if the P value, if the pips is 70, and my so and the stop loss was. 15 pips, 15 pips. If this trade goes against us, 15, we are going to lose 3%. But it delivered 150 pips. It gave us $30. So I'm risking $3 to make 30 cent. Sorry, I'm risking $3 to make $30. So when you understand these basics, that 0 0.01 is 10 cents. So if the, if the stop loss is 40 pips, 40 pips stop loss, 0 0.01, what would be the dollar rate? If the trade goes against you, how much are you going to be risking, losing? 40 pips, 0 0.01. 0 0.01 is what in dollars? Zero point zero one is how much in dollars? In dollars. Zero point zero one is how much in dollar value? Let's do that one first.
10 cents. Good. 10 cents times 40. How much do you have? 10 cents times 40. Four dollars, fantastic. So 10 cents times 40, that is four dollars. So that means if that trade goes against you on your hundred dollars, you have only lost four dollars. And because of stop loss, you have only lost four dollars. You look for the next trade that can give you 80 dollars or 100, uh, that can give you 80 pips or 100 pips so that you can make back your money. That's the essence of you putting stop loss. And that's the essence of you putting take profit. Okay, guys, I have another section 4 p.m. And uh, I hope I've been able to help a lot of us tonight. Okay. So we have another section on um, tomorrow. The goal is that this week we're going to be trading together in the live trading room, all of us that are that are on the on our mentorship role so that we can make an amazing profit together so as i round up here how do we work in in our team we have what is called we have three ways to make money everybody on the call type in three ways to make money just type in three ways okay you have three ways everybody type in three ways chris said Amazing class. Thank you so much. Okay. So the first way is copy and paste. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to be teaching us copy and paste and the tools that we're going to be using for copy and paste. Copy and paste is copying from the traders that are already successful. Why you are learning? Because it's a learn and earn. So in your first one week in our community, you will first demo trade. The second week, you should start trading with your small lot size. You are not making, trying to make huge money, but you are trying to overcome the fear of not trading. So you copy and paste. The number two way, which is the best way for a lot of us, is connect and end. Everybody on the call typing connect and end. We have over... 100 mentors you can connect and end with. Connect and end. Everybody on the call. Good. So we have Manny Marquinhos. It takes us 2 p.m. Nigerian time. We are currently running 125 days challenge with Manny Marquinhos. And we have only done three days out of the challenge, three days. It takes us Tuesdays. So everyone that is under my mentorship, starting from next week, you're going to be connecting with Manny Marquinas. Our goal is to trade together for 125 days. This one is not your brain. This one is somebody who is already good at it. All you need to do is to come between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. When it says buy, you will buy. When it says sell, you will sell. It will give us the stop loss, which I've explained to you already. It will give us the take profit. If I would have said it's clear, type in clear. So this week, he has given us six trades. We have lost five, where we have won five and we lost one. Already this week, a lot of us on the on his challenge group, on his live session, we have done over, over 80 to 95% of our account this week already. And we are still going to 125 days. So this week, starting from Tuesdays, his session is Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday. You will join in. I also join in, 2 p.m. This one is not, uh, Mr. Meyer is a, is a successful trader. This is connect and end. You have an account for it. You're going to be trading. It tells us the percentage to use. And 
he said we want to do that for 125 days challenge so we have done three days last week we are entering the new day this week the second session which is another amazing guy is luke longman luke longman is also 2 p.m tuesdays to fridays as a matter of fact it's monday to fridays so anytime money money session is not more than one hour Luke Longman is still around. We connect with him. Okay, we connect with him. I have a student, Ade Doyin, who only trades Luke Longman. Doyin does not send analysis on the chat, but Doyin makes money. Two weeks, Fridays ago, she did 500% of her account. So what I'm sharing with you is not, you know, and the disclaimer, you know, is not is there's no promise it is you learning and doing what every other people are doing if you're in a classroom everybody's making money and you're not making money it is not the people's challenge it is your challenge and you can only fix it by saying you need help and somebody who is available can help you and why do i like connect and end is that why the person is telling you to make money is also showing you what to do So the next one is called do it yourself. Everybody say D, um, everybody on call that type in do it yourself. So we have Christopher Derrick, 7 a.m. Mon um, Tuesdays to Thursday. I think his session is almost every day now, Seth. Thank you. 